Hello everyone, it's me Jamie. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a bookshelf organization video. I recently bought some new bookshelves. Of course, I got the Ikea Billy bookshelves. These are the bookshelves that I had in my old house at my parents' house, but my mum has stolen them. She has decided that they belong to her now. So, I recently bought some new ones. I have this tiny bookshelf here, which I've been keeping all my books. But because my partner is moving in, I decided that I was gonna get all of the rest of my book collection from my parents' house and set them all up and yeah, make this space my own. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start by first of all showing you what my bookshelves look like right now, which is terrible. They don't look good. So I'm gonna start by showing you and then I'm going to take off all my books and organize them into different piles by genre and also by whether or not I have read or not read them so that makes it easier for when I put them back on and then I'm gonna make the bookshelves and we're gonna get it all sorted so I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started <laughs> So this is what my shelves look like right now. They're very small. I'm going to be keeping these shelves and putting it in my stream room. And once I get all my books from my parents' house, I will decide whether or not I want to make this a TBR shelf in my stream room. But for now, it's just gonna go in my stream room and have just knickknacks and stuff on it. And then this whole kind of like section by the fireplace is gonna be the home for my new bookshelves. I also just filmed a book haul today, so I need to sort these out as well. I've got obviously the ones on the top and everything that is in there. Also, if anyone's talking shit about my Crocs in the comments, you will be blocked. They're the perfect, comfortable house shoe. I stand by that. Okay, so I've somewhat sorted it out. So this bit over here that you can kind of see in shot, those are my red books. And then my unread books are over here and I've got like romance, contemporary, thrillers, fantasy. That's kind of the only categories I have in the like respective read or unread piles. I will say my unread books, I thought there'd be way more, but it's actually not too bad in comparison. There are definitely more unread books, but I think it's because most of my read books are actually still at my parents' house, because I didn't feel the need to bring them here because I just wanted to read books from my physical TBR. So yeah, now that I've got the piles, I'm going to put those to the side. I'm going to quickly wipe down the other shelves and then start building the bookshelves, the new ones. I also think I'm going to film a quick physical TBR video because now that I have these piles, it's like I might as well make use of them. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do that quickly and then we'll make a start on everything else. It's like six o'clock, so we're probably going to be losing light. So I don't know how much we're actually going to get done, but like, you know, if this takes some work tomorrow as well i feel like that's fine but we're just gonna get started on unpacking i feel like the best technique right now i have my boyfriend's like fancy thing that has like a screwdriver in it and a bunch of other shit i'm just gonna unpack everything like look at all the pieces figure out how to put it together i put together ikea furniture before you know so i feel like this should be fine we'll see how we go i'm already struggling with this and with my nails so is it the best start we'll see Over. If I break a nail doing this, I will literally sue Ikea and make them pay for my next set of beautiful nail art. You know, I'm gonna rip this bit. Please! Okay, I have all the pieces out on the ground. I don't know why there is 17 minutes of footage of me just taking the parts out of the box. We're gonna actually get started on making this. We're gonna make a start and then finish tomorrow, I think. Okay. 
I need to put these in both holes. Sounds like Penelope Douglas book. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, sitting on the couch having a moment, but I have finished this much. Let me show you. I have the outline of the bookshelf and you know what? That's enough for me. That is enough for me. I'm really hungry and tired and I still need to do my stream tonight. So I'm gonna order some dinner and I'm going to eat and then do my stream and then just finish this tomorrow. I will see you then. And then we can do the actual fun stuff, which is the actual like organizing of the books and all that sort of stuff. So see you later. Hello, okay, it's the next day. I've just hammered the back of the bookshelves onto the back and honestly that was the scariest part because like I am not a hammer and nails type girly. It scares me. It, least favorite of the construction tools is hammer and nails. Like I would literally rather do anything else. Like a chainsaw. I would rather wield a chainsaw than wield a hammer. Hammering nails in. Anyway, let me know down below what your favorite uh, construction tool is uh, and if it's a hammer you're wrong. Sorry, um, I don't know, I'm a bit delirious. Okay, we're going to now pick the bookshelves up and put the shelves on. I wanna do like just even, just like even shelves. Cause I know that it's, there are some bookshelves that will have like a bigger shelf in the middle, but I'm just gonna do like even sizes and then put the books on. And I feel like that will be the fun part. So we're just gonna skip everything else and we're gonna go to the fun part, okay? I'm gonna do this, the rest off camera of the construction, even though I'm like so proud of myself for constructing this entirely by myself, you're not gonna see any more of it because it's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, um, see you when I start putting all the books in place. completed one shelf so we're making progress and I've got my romance shelf out loud and proud on like the second shelf down so when you come in that'll be one of the first things that you see and I've kind of organized it by function rather than aesthetics so this stack and then all the ones next to it are my unread romance books and then on this side is all my read ones so I'm hoping that slowly when I read more of these I can like move them over to the red shelf until eventually all of them are red. But I'm also planning on getting like way more romance books. Like I really just want to expand my romance collection. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But already I'm feeling good with this one. I'm feeling very good. With these two shelves underneath, I think I'm going to be doing like general contemporaries. So that's like this fallen pile over here is all my red contemporaries and then these two piles here are the unread contemporaries. So I feel like I can make use of two shelves with these. And also, I don't even know how to film this. Like, I'm just putting books on a shelf. <laughs> Why do I enjoy other people doing these videos, but then when I try to make one, I'm like, anyway, I'm putting the books on the shelf now. I'm sorry, this may be the worst video I've ever created. I actually just turned the camera on because I wanted to show off about some of my most prized possessions. And it's these. The, my hardcover popular series that is signed and personalized to me. I paid a fucking pretty penny for them, to be honest. Like, I had to get them from an indie bookstore overseas, sent to like this account that I have, which keeps like only American shipping in like a warehouse for me. And then I pay like another like $50 to get it sent to New Zealand. So I was going through a moment when I ordered these. But it says, to Jamie, oh, the, yeah, to Jamie from RF Kwan. 
and that's on all of them. So I have, I only have the Joe Republic and the Burning God here because uh, my boyfriend's reading the first one. Literally told him I would break up with him if he didn't read that series. And I meant that. So yeah, I, but these are gonna go on the top shelf. I think I'm gonna do it with my fantasy and just general science fiction and fantasy make-believe things um, on the top shelf because I just don't reach for it as often. So I've got top shelf fantasy, romance on the second shelf. Third shelf is contemporaries and like that I've read. And then this uh, shelf underneath, which is number four, is contemporaries that I haven't read. And then I think I'm going to do my thrillers on the shelf after that and then leave the bottom shelf just empty so yeah also because keeping in mind that i still have so many books at my parents house which i need to bring over so you know this video is kind of stupid because i'm going to be revamping all of it like in like two weeks i'm gonna keep going hello guys okay as you can see i have finally finished my bookshelves it took longer than expected but i have to <laughs> redo them very soon so when my bookshelves are like perfected you will have a full bookshelf tour coming like that i promise i don't have that much space left on the bookshelf so i don't know if i'm gonna have to get another one soon i hope not i think maybe this is cause for a book buying ban i will just quickly give you a little slow rundown of the bookshelves and everything here um but i won't go full in detail because We'll save that for a bookshelf tour also they're probably going to change so at the top here it's just all kind of like fantasy sci-fi and then i've also got the bts albums and my death note mangas just because i had no idea where to put them here we have my romance shelf which i think i went the most in depth in when i was actually like organizing it all here are all my general red contemporaries i have a really nice candle in the middle just to break them up a little bit and create like just because i had a more space on the bookshelf than I thought I would. These are just kind of like random ass classics. Well, I'm considering The Secret History a classic and The Alchemist because I don't have that many classics on my bookshelf. The only one I haven't read is The Phantom of the Opera. We have bookmarks. This shelf below that is unread general contemporaries. And then here we have uh, like thrillers, horrors, cozy mysteries and stuff like that. This side here and then all the ones that are like facing down like that. They are um, the ones I've read. And then these ones I haven't read. There's also, um, I've already taken a book out of it to start reading on this side, which is why there's like that extra random space. And then this is kind of below it, the empty shelf where I want to put things eventually. These won't live here. I'm just putting them here for now. But that's like crystal, like tarot, astrology star books. Then I've got tarot cards, um, a crystal, and then my name is Totoro and Kiki's Delivery Service. Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will have many more videos out soon and I hope to see you in the next one.